All right, this is just a small video about how to fix a knock sensor on a six liter Vortec. Um, as you probably know, that's an Achilles heel of this engine and it requires quite a bit of work to replace the knock sensors. You have to remove the intake manifold and get down in there and actually replace them. They get water in there and they fail quite routinely. So what I've done, this is my Chevy 2001 Suburban 2500 HD. So if you can see, just behind the dipstick there, at the back of bank one, there happens to be a unused 10 millimeter hole in the side of the head. So I've put my knock sensor in there and then I wired it that cable there, that blue you see this one here there's two knock sensors in a, a Vortec but you can wire them in together in parallel. And so I've just crimped a plug on one side of the, the socket. And then I just need to crimp one of these plugs, the male of this uh, blue plug here, onto the wire which runs across to my single knock sensor. Now the chances are down on the back end of bank two, there's probably another 10 millimeter tapped hole that you could do it and put a second knock sensor in there and that's perfectly fine way of uh, resolving the knock sensor issue because it is going it right into the side of the cylinder head so it's going to be doing exactly the same job and in any case i know a lot of manufacturers have gone to putting their knock sensors external to the engine now just because of ease of servicing but I happen to know that you can parallel one knock sensor up to another and when the ECU tests the knock sensor circuit it tests one circuit then it tests the other circuit then it tests one circuit then it tests the other circuit and because one circuit is parallel to the other it just does it runs the same test all the time so it will work and if you did have a knock issue um, then it would hear that knock on the side of the head. Um, this this vehicle runs on LPG um, propane, so knock is is not going to be a problem. It's just a case of having to do this to get rid of the engine light, and to do it relatively easily. But uh, if I sell the car, I'll point it out to the new owner anyway. Anyway, that's something you could try if you can't be bothered with the hassle of removing the whole intake manifold. Thanks very much.